Welcome to another video about the strange and unexplained. We're going to be talking about the kinds of discoveries that keep scientists awake at night. Scientists love to solve problems, but there are some problems that can't be solved no matter how hard you try or how long you try for. You're going to see a lot of problems like that in this video. We're starting out in the frozen reaches of Antarctica. Standing in Antarctica is about as close as it's possible to get to the feeling of standing on the surface of an alien world without leaving Earth. There's plenty about the frozen continent that we don't understand, and as it turns out, still plenty of creatures there that we've never seen before. In fact, scientists found an entire colony of previously undiscovered fish beneath the ice of Antarctica in January 2022. The massive breeding colony covers more than 150 square miles and includes over 60 million active nests of ice fish. The total biomass of the creatures is thought to exceed 60,000 tons. There are also seals close to the nests, suggesting that seals might prey on these creatures. The colony is in the southern Weddell Sea. The fish can survive there because their bodies contain antifreeze proteins which help them to counteract the extreme temperatures. The sheer number of fish at the site means that the species doesn't need protection, but it's incredible that we've never come across them before. Now we have an update on a discovery we featured on this channel before, and it'll come as a disappointment to some. A little while ago, we mentioned that the Chinese moon over Yuta 2 had found what appeared to be a hut-shaped object on the lunar surface and was moving closer to take a better look. The moon rover caught up with the object in January 2022 and found it was just a rock. The fact that it looked so much like a cube has been put down to a mixture of shadows, angles, and light playing tricks on the camera. It's a large rock by the standards of those that can be found on the moon, but it's still just a rock. This explanation is unlikely to satisfy conspiracy theorists who often claim that there are secret bases on the moon used by both humans and extraterrestrials. NASA has been targeted by conspiracy theorists for allegedly hiding evidence of life on the lunar surface in the past. The Chinese space agency might soon find itself coming in for the same treatment. It's probably quite alarming to find an old letter in your bedroom and see that it starts Dear future people. But don't worry, there's nothing sinister about this story. In April 2016, a family from Owsley Park, Coventry, England, found a note hidden underneath a floorboard in a bedroom of a home they lived in since 2003. It reads Dear future people, I am Elliot, and I am 12. I used to live here. This was my room. I've left you a gift. It's a magnet. I hope you like my old home. Use the magnet for special purposes only. Bye. The magnet was found next to the note. The baffled homeowner contacted the previous occupants of the home who lived there for 15 years until 2003, but they don't have an Elliot in their family. That means the letter was written at least 35 years ago, which makes it strange that the paper hasn't turned yellow. The family's hoping to trace Elliot, who would presumably now be in his early 50s, but haven't had any luck so far. You might have missed this in the news in January 2022, but our home planet spent the entire month getting bombarded by strong radio waves from more than 4,000 light years away. The sudden and unexpected appearance of the radio bursts caught astronomers by surprise and left them scrambling for an explanation. At first, all they could say was that the radio waves come from a large object that emits highly polarized radio bursts every 20 minutes and then disappears from view until the next burst begins. When it's at its most active, the beam of radiation that it emits is the brightest in the sky. On top of that, it spins. Astronomers at the Australian Observatory that spotted the phenomenon say it's unlike anything they've ever seen before. If the bursts of radio waves were slower, the source would probably be a supernova. If they were faster, it'd probably be a neutron star. These bursts sit between the two. 
Nothing else in the observable universe behaves like the source of these radio waves does, and at only 4,000 light years away, it's practically in our galactic neighborhood. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean we can fly there to find out what it is. Do you believe in sea monsters? No? Well, perhaps you'll change your mind after checking out this next discovery. The decomposing remains of this unknown creature were found on a Spanish beach in August 2013. It's almost 20 feet long and appears to have horns. Various experts were called out to look at the badly decomposed carcass on Luis Serret Beach in Villaricos, but each of them had a different theory about what they were looking at. One of the most ridiculous is that the Loch Ness Monster took a vacation from Scotland and didn't survive the journey. Dean Grubbs, an ichthyologist from Florida State University, says the remains are a shark skeleton and the horns are scapulocoracoids, which supported the shark's pectoral fins. However, Dean's assessment is only based on looking at pictures of the creature. Experts who saw it with their own eyes and touched it with their own hands say there's no way it's a shark. So the mystery continues. When an altar covered in strange symbols suddenly appeared in Holyrood Park, Edinburgh, Scotland in 2019, fearful locals began to worry that a secret sect of devil worshippers had descended on their city. Some of the locals even called the police, but the police quickly decided there was nothing for them to investigate and called archaeologists instead. The professional opinion of archaeologists is that the concrete altar and the metal plaque are religious objects, but they're not connected to Satanism. Instead, they appear to be pagan relics. The metal plate was found embedded in the ground in a turf bed cut into the shape of a triangle. We can see why it scared people because the male figure on the plate has horns, and the female figure appears to be surrendering to him. The whole image is surrounded by a pentagram. However, Mark Black of the UK Pagan Council says the figures are the Horned God and the Goddess of Water, and the points of the pentagram represent Earth, Fire, Water, and Air. That would leave one of the points unaccounted for, but perhaps maths isn't Mark's strong point. Now for another strange discovery in a British park. It's the so-called Lady of the Woods carved into the side of a tree in the ancient Kite Hill Wood of Ashford, Kent. The lady stands about nine feet tall and is frequently visited by unknown individuals who leave branches laid out in a ritualistic circle at her feet. Those same people also leave fresh twigs and leaves hanging around the sculpture's neck each time they visit. The Lady of the Woods can be quite a scary thing to look at if you don't know she's there and you come across her in the dark. She covers her face almost like a weeping angel from the BBC science fiction show Doctor Who. But beneath her hands, her face is featureless. Nobody knows who carved the figure or when, but local rumors say that it was an art student who lived in Ashford during the 1970s. If so, the artist has chosen to remain anonymous for all the years since then. The sculpture is in the middle of nowhere, miles from the nearest residential dwelling, so creating the sculpture wasn't an opportunist act. The mystery will probably never be solved. There are few things that get archaeologists more excited than an unexplored cave. You might think that there can't be many of them left in this day and age. Unexplored caves, that is, not archaeologists. But you'd be wrong. There are probably thousands of them, and some of them are enormous. This one in Canada is so massive that it looks like Sarlacc's pit from Star Wars, and yet it went undiscovered until December 2018. Even when it was found, the discovery happened by accident. The entrance to the cave was spotted by a Canadian government survey team monitoring the caribou population in Wells Gray Provincial Park, British Columbia. It's one of the most remote locations in Canada and it's situated very close to where the cold Canadian mountains give way to glaciers and ice. The cave entrance is likely to spend most of the year covered in snow and ice, which might explain why it hasn't been spotted before. It might be as much as two miles deep, but nobody's sure because it hasn't been fully explored yet. Who knows what might be found down there in the dark? 
We've already looked at a letter that was found hidden under a floorboard. Now we're going to look at a photograph that was hidden in a wall. The black and white picture was found during refurbishment work at a property in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada in October 2021. And it wasn't the only thing that the workers found there. Receipts and coupons from grocery stores were walled up with the photo, which has helped to provide some historical context. Based on the dates on the receipts, the woman in the picture probably lived in the property during the late 1890s. Why she or her family put these things into the walls of their home is unknown, but they also left behind a copy of the Canadian Railway Employees Monthly Magazine and a few Christmas cards. It's possible that she was creating a time capsule deliberately, but such things were uncommon at the time. The family that lives there now would love to find any living relatives of this woman and return the pictures and items to them, but thus far, they haven't had any success. In October 2021, a German car collector called Hubert Rhein attended a garage sale in Leipzig. He spotted an old car in the corner of the garage and thought it looked interesting, so he bought it for a few hundred dollars. Even with all his years of expertise, Hubert was unable to identify the three-wheeled car. He turned to his contacts for help, and that's when he found out that he might be the owner of the oldest car in the world. Forensic examination of the vehicle suggests that it's older than the Ford Model T and older than the Benz patent car too. The Benz patent car also had three wheels and was built in 1886. If this three-wheeler predates the famous Benz, it's the oldest car in the world and would presumably instantly be valued at several million dollars. In anticipation of this, it's now been taken to a secret location in Thuringia for its own protection. The chassis of the vehicle is made from wood, so it should be possible to obtain accurate carbon dating test results. Mercedes-Benz still insists that its car is the true oldest car in the world, but that might be about to change. The flooding in Louisiana, USA brought devastation in 2016, but also led to a few remarkable discoveries when the waters eventually subsided. Among those discoveries was this incredible Disney time capsule. When Janet Knox returned to her home in Baton Rouge after the floods, she despaired. The walls were so waterlogged that there was no option but to tear them down and start again. When she did, though, she found a time capsule from 1942 hiding within the walls. Inside the capsule was a newspaper dated June 21st that year, silverware, and tiny Disney toys, including a doll, a figurine, and a rusty metal boat. The figurine is the strangest of the discoveries because it doesn't belong with the rest. It's a model of Dale from the Chipmunks, and he's wearing a red shirt. Dale didn't get a red shirt until the 1980s. He didn't exist at all until 1943, which is a year after this time capsule was apparently created. The figurine appears to come from a Kellogg cereal box prize from 1991. The best explanation seems to be that someone found the time capsule in 1991, added the figurine, and sealed it all up again. That's a very strange thing to do. The ancient inhabitants of almost every country in the world built stone monuments at some point in the past, but the style of those monuments changed from region to region. In the Mariana Islands, which are close to Japan, the ancient inhabitants built the latte stones. You won't find anything like them anywhere else in the world. Each of them is between four and seven feet tall, made from a base column and a bowl on the top, almost like a birdbath or a jardinier. Far from being abstract objects, though, these were the foundations of the homes that were built by the native Chamorro people. It was once thought that the thatched homes were reserved only for the elite of the islands, but the later discovery of large latte stones on Guam, where the lower castes live, has challenged that assumption. The elevation provided by the latte stones kept the homes safe from floods, which were a constant threat in the region. They now stand in the middle of abandoned villages as testimonies to a way of life that was lost when Spanish invaders arrived in the 17th century. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications 
and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.